Welcome back guys and today we have some news about new and upcoming NVIDIA GPU GTX 1180 and let's try to calculate what kind of hash rate and what kind of profits can we get from this new GPU. So first I was trying to compare it to new NVIDIA Titan V because we already have hash rate for that and we already know how much this card is making but this card is so different compared to these rumors that we just cannot do that. As you can see clocks are really really low, memory clock is only 850, uh, base uh, clock is 1200 and the memory interface is 3072 bits and the most that we get on modern GPU is 512 because they are completely different architecture than the Titan V. So we can close this step. So let's compare it to the GTX 1080 which we know how much it is getting right now and let's try to see what really matters in improving our hash rate. So architecture over here this is only the name and it looks like it will be Turing. We, we have heard something that it will be called Ampere, some people said it will be Volta but it looks like it will be called Turing. It is made in 12 nanometer thin fat process compared to 16 nanometers in GTX 1080. The GPU code name will be, will be GT104. The die size will be around 400 millimeters squared and this is actually really big compared to GTX 1080 which has only 314 millimeters squared. So this is about 30% bigger die size so they can put a lot more transistors in there and hopefully increase the performance by a lot. But if this 1180 already has 400 millimeters, how big will be the 1180 Ti? It might be like 500 or 600 millimeters squared, but the bigger they make them, the lower amount of them they can make per one wafer. So the bigger that chip is, the lower amount of them they can make and the higher the cost. So the CUDA course it looks like it will have 3584 compared to 2560. So this is about 30% improvement in CUDA course, but this 30% improvement in the CUDA course we could get just by increasing the die size so it doesn't look uh, real because if they increase the die size by 30% and they only got 30% more CUDA core, where are the CUDA cores that we got from going from 16 to 12 nanometers? So texture mapping units at 224, ROPs at 64 and the core clocks look like they will be almost the same. So around 1600 for one and for the other and around 1800 for the boost clock. So boost clock looks like it will be a little bit few percent better and this is to be expected with a new GPU. Floating point performance at 13 teraflops compared to 8.72. And this is uh, where things start to get interesting because this is what will improve our money. So the more calculations that GPU can do, those floating point calculations, the more hash rate you can get. And also if your memory clocks are a lot higher, you will get a lot higher hash rate. But the memory clocks didn't improve, but we got more floating point performance. So they probably got more instructions per clock. And this is also to be expected with two year newer GPU. So the, the memory interface, it will be 256 bit, which is the same as 1080, but the memory interface doesn't matter so much because, because you don't have so much information going through your GPU to your CPU. Because when you're mining, you have only like maybe few megabytes here and there uh, to send to your CPU and to your uh, system just when you solve the shares or when you receive new shares to solve. So the memory, it looks like it will be 8 to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, which is nice to see that they are going to GDDR6 instead of continuing with GDDR5X or the HBM2 memory. But the GDDR6 will be about 20% more expensive to make and this comes from a lot of other sources. So they will most likely go for 8 gigabytes on the 1180 because going to 16 gigabytes and also having it 20% more expensive per gigabyte would make this GPU really really expensive and we already have 30% bigger die size and if they would just increase everything the price couldn't stay at $700 MSRP like the GTX 1080. The price should probably increase by $100 or even up to $200. So most likely 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 which we still don't know how it will perform with hashing but if it will be like 20-30% more efficient then we will get a lot more hashing done. The memory bandwidth will be at 512 gigabytes gigabytes per second compared to 320 gigabytes per second on the 1080 and those 512 gigabytes are even better than on the 1080 Ti. 1080 Ti gets 484 gigabytes per second 
but the problem with 1080 Ti is the GDDR5X memory, but it looks like they fixed that with GDDR6 memory. We only got fixed for GDDR5X memory a few days ago when they played a little bit with memory timings and now you can get like even up to 100% better hash rate by mining Ethereum. And most likely it can be done for other algorithms, but it will take a lot of time and money to uh, research that and to make it happen. And now when the new GPUs are coming out, developers will most likely focus on the newer GPUs. The TDP, it looks like it will be the same as the 1080, and the launch date is in July of 2018, so we have only a few more months to go, and this corresponds with other rumors that also said launch in July. MSRP at $700 compared to $599, for the third party GTX 1080 and for the Founders Edition at $700. So if that $700 will be MSRP for third parties then the Founders Edition might be at $800 but we will have to wait and see that. I wouldn't be surprised at $800 MSRP compared to $700 because as I said before GDDR6 is a lot more expensive to make and it looks like they are increasing the die size. So, if now you want to know how much better hash rate you can get, they already did this calculation for us, and you can see when you take all those numbers into consideration, you can get the rough performance numbers, and it looks like it will be 51% better than the 1080. So, 51% better rough performance doesn't mean 51% better hash rate. We will still have to see what GDDR6 can do, but uh, maybe it improves it even a bit more, but we will get at least of 51% more performance while mining. And this is almost certain and we will just have to wait this and see to confirm that, but most likely it will be at 51%. If we go to whatthemine.com, click on GTX 180, Calculate, you can see that currently you are getting $2 before electricity. And this is by Mining Z Classic on Equihash, which is the most profitable coin and algorithm at this, this date. So, with 51% more hash rate, we will get most likely about $3 per one GTX 1180. And $3 is not anything amazing. We had like $3 per GTX 1080 just two months ago. And if we go back to like five or six months ago, we were making five or six dollars per GTX 1080. But now with 1180, you will be getting only $3, which might not be a reason for a lot of people to buy a new GPU. And this GPU will be at $700 and I don't see a lot of people investing $700 into new GPU because the return on investment will be like 200 days even if you have cheap electricity. So most likely if the hash rate stays 51% better you will still be able to buy those GPUs for gaming and gamers will be happier than they were one year ago. So I hope that I was right or at least kind of right and that we get 51% better hash rate on those new GPUs but those are all just rumors and nothing is 100% confirmed by NVIDIA. So thank you guys for watching this video, let me know down in the comments what you think, what kind of performance do you expect from the 1180 and see you soon in another video. Bye!